Professor Johan Lowe is a biomedical scientist who serves as the senior platform director at the Center and Platforms office. His expertise and focal research areas are in pathophysiology of metabolic disease, diabetes prevention, early diagnosis and treatment. He also has expertise in partnering and collaborating with the biotechnology industry. He has accomplished accolades, winning an Intellectual Property Creator Award from the then Department of Science and Technology and now the Department of Science and Innovation. Professor Low has also obtained honorary appointments. In 2016, he received the acknowledgement of being an extraordinary professor in the Department of Biochemistry and Microbiology from the University of Zululand. He currently holds a PhD in physiology. Today I get to speak about a scientist who has contributed greatly to historically disadvantaged universities. Through his dedication and hard work, he has contributed into establishing three world-class laboratories such as this lab that we are in right now that is going to significantly impact the lives of numerous students within the university. Doing my master's and PhD with Professor Low and his team contributed to my growth as a young female scientist. I found my passion for research as I got an opportunity to work with a lot of expertise in the field. And I was also granted an opportunity to go overseas to attend workshops and training which enhanced my scientific expertise. I am so grateful to Professor Low Meeting him for the first time was scary, but I quickly I quickly realized that beneath the layer there is a caring boss, mentor and a colleague who led with integrity and compassion. With that, I would like to extend a heartfelt congratulation to Professor Law for this prestigious uh, achievement. Professor Law always donates instruments no longer being used by SAMRC to the Department of Biochemistry and Microbiology, which improves practical experiments for the undergraduate students. Professor Lowe has been involved in diabetes research for 35 years. In 2006, his research translated into a joint development agreement with Zadek for innovation funding of 120 million rands. This funding yielded five international patents. Prof. Lowe started the capacity development program 20 years ago. The capacity development program was started because there was an urgent need to develop and upskill the next generation of scientists. BRIP has a well-equipped laboratory infrastructure and good resources. It is these resources and structures that needed to be shared with students and researchers that work in under-resourced institutions. The capacity development program trains and graduates MSc and PhD students. At the end of 2022, it graduated 118 postgraduate students. The program offers a short exchange of three, six, and 12 months. In 2006, BRIP secured large funding through a development agreement with Zadek. Zadek is a Danish biotech company that enabled the capacity development program to employ young technical assistants who did their MSCs and PhDs. In 2015, a strategic initiative was initiated, the RCDI program to increase the SAMRC footprint in under-resourced universities, otherwise referred to as HDIs. Currently, eight HDIs are participating in this initiative and BRIP's Capacity Development Program is hosting at least one student from these eight universities. During the COVID pandemic, the program was able to set up six satellite COVID labs to test for the presence of COVID in wastewater. The Capacity Development Program will soon start another spin-off from BRIP's training students for the biopharmaceutical industry. This is where graduated students are being fully equipped for the biopharmaceutical and vaccine manufacturing industry in Africa and specifically South Africa. The knowledge transfers from the capacity development program are symposium and conferences, knowledge dissemination webinars, development of training modules, staff skills development. Hereby, I just want to thank Professor Lowe for all the years 
25 years that he is supporting this university and that this collaboration includes a lot of masters and PhD students, a lot of research being done at this university as well as in Cape Town, with publications, with international conferences. This is a huge successful story and for that I just want to say thank you to Professor Lowe.